Hello people, I'm Javi Kuwait. This is Jar Kirk. Hi there. And we just watched the test Halo launched into space from SpaceX. I found out the budget was $200 million, so we just watched $200 million fly into space. That was really interesting. Did a little bit of research on it. The cameras are three times larger than the sensor of your average full frame DSLR. It's three times that size. And there's four of those cameras at a 1.4 aperture looking out into space, searching for exoplanets. Not only that, scientists around the world have access to this thing to do their own research research. Freaking bananas, man. It's just like, just watching it. I, I wish I recorded my reaction to it because it was I know, like, it was, it was quite special. Whatever. It was just like this. You went, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty cool. I mean, this is like, you know, the first stages of looking for alien worlds where we can live. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of crazy to think about because, I mean, like 99% likelihood we won't be around for that, but like, that, that's this is the first stage in that direction where we can live in planets that are really far away. Basically, we are now living a sci-fi movie. Yes, like this is this, that is, awesome. this, this is Star Trek First Contact. Now we just need some Klingons. Are they Klingons? I'm not Vulcan. A Vulcan, sorry. I'm not a Trekkie. I just rem I just watched the movies when I was a kid. I apologize to Trekkie fans. Yeah, that's what's next. Some humanoid looking aliens coming down and saying live long and prosper and sharing their tech with us. I don't know if it's on Elon Musk's uh, agenda to figure this out, but like they gotta figure out how to stabilize wormholes and then like we can get to those exoplanets. It's, like, it's cool in theory to like find these yeah. exoplanets that are super far away, but it's like the length of time it takes to get to the closest exoplanet. This is exciting. <laughs> this is really exciting, just where all this is headed. It was $200 million, but that was a smaller budget uh, SpaceX, you know, wow. launch. Okay. So, because I mean, the last one that we that I watched was the three going up and coming back mm -hmm. down. They actually had a camera fixed to the rocket returning to Earth, and you can see its little feet come out. <laughs> that was cool. And it lands. I'm like, oh my god, this is the future. None of us are going to those exoplanets. It's all for the children, the great, great, great grandchildren. Yeah. Anyway, that was fun. I, I'm glad that I could share a little bit of this. I am a a, a, a low lo-fi science geek. I love it, but I know very little about it. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us and listening to this rant. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you're what you're excited about and it, what you know about th this stuff. And if, yeah, just things. Say all the things that you want to talk about. This is a place where you can just dump your nerdy happy thoughts. <laughs> Thanks so much. I'm Jabby Kway. This is Ajara Kirk. Peace out.